Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. And go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? This is so cool! The amount of engineering it must have taken to do this? Automated train tracks running all through the nether? Connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this. Eligard was probably fighting off zombie pigmen with one hand, wiring redstone with the other. This is impressive! Thanks to these rails, we'll be there in no time. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're gonna get to Eligard, get her to help us, and we're gonna save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh... Jesse! <gasps> doing with it. tracks now time to move buddy let's go i never doubted you for a second but but that was incredible maybe we have a chance of getting to eligard after all look there's the sign redstonia redstonia here we come about to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world. Wow. Who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering. Incredible. Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us? Yeah.
know how much I value and adore each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. Jessie, there she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. So please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. Jesse, we need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? Can you give her a message, please? No, uh... I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year. I must tell you. I have a message from Gabriel, okay? Eligard's old friend? Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. Okay, sure, that would be great. If I'm not mistaken, that should go right to Eligard's private office. I might be wrong. Could be wrong. This place is pretty complicated. Speaking of which... I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. But notice you checking out my catapult, friend. It's got an easy to use lever right there. So feel free to fling a cow, or maybe you'd like to try it on your piggy there first. <gasps> oh, believe me, he'll love it. Okay, Reuben, it's time for a game of Super Pig. <laughs> Hi there. What? Look, you're gonna have to speak up there. Oh, I just said hi. Much better. What can I do for you? You wanna see my TNT cannon? You say something? How does your machine work? Still a work in progress. But eventually, it'll launch people high into the air so they can see for miles around. Cool, theoretically. Do you have a repeater I could use? Sorry. None of those to spare. Can you get us in the dome? What? Can't hear ya. But if it's about getting into Eligard's dome, no can't do. Sorry. I like you, sport. Here, have some redstone dust. Dust from a strange man. Cool.
It's not safe! Duck! Watch your language, Missy! all these inventions? These inventors are all incredible. So Eligard's trying to make a command block in there? I know. I heard that too. I'm actually not sure how I feel about that. I mean, there's no way we misheard her, right? If she can really make another command block, maybe we could use it. I don't know, Jesse. That sounds pretty risky. You saw what happened when Ivor tried to control a command block. Seems like this place has really blown you away. You're not kidding. This is like everything I've ever dreamed of. I would have thought you'd be up in people's faces, talking about inventions. I want to, but I'm a little worried. I might know Redstone where we come from, but these people are the real deal, Jesse. I mean, I don't even know how they're making some of these things. That's rare for me. Even if you're intimidated, maybe you could talk to them. They could teach you some cool stuff about what they know. Yeah, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying to open the dome. I'll see what I can do to help. Stone. Jackpot. That's some nice stone. Still warm. You must be here to see my incredible auto farmer. Why waste time planting sugarcane when it could be planting itself? You got a repeater? Sorry, already used all mine. I got some redstone torches, though. Auto farming, huh? What's the deal with that? Oh, it's real simple. Planting sugarcane takes time. With my system, that's time you save and put right back in your rhetorical time pocket. I've really got to see Eligard. Oh, I see. Trying to prove how much you want the spot as her protege so I'll be intimidated? <laughs> well, it's not working. I'll just be going then. If you need a better way to plant sugarcane, you know where to look. Hey, thanks for taking care of that cow-launching nut job over there. The constant splashing and mooing was driving me nuts. Here, take these as a token of my gratitude. That's some primo crafting material right there. Awesome, thanks! Okay, I can do this. Redstone repeater, redstone repeater, redstone repeater. Done. Pretty nice, if I may compliment myself. Okay, that's a step in the right direction. Switch is on. That doesn't seem super useful. I'm working on it, Olivia. These aren't exactly labeled, you know. Switch is on. Okay, good, good. Bam, door open. Eligard's Redstone Laboratory. Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. Oh, don't worry, pal. We'll find her. 
I just hope she can actually help us. redstone stuff I've ever seen in my life. You can say that again. Come on, let's keep moving. <laughs> what are those things even for? Maybe, I don't know, breaking things up, keeping intruders out. There are lots of possibilities. Okay, almost. Definitely a step in the right direction. Yeah. Nicely done, Jesse. You're pretty good at this. Hey, what can I say? Me and the Redstone just speak to each other. Uh huh. She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Man. Look at all this, huh? Whatever she's working on, if it requires all of these ingredients, it must be something really, really big. Any idea what all this does? Well, it's clearly taking all of these materials and doing something with them, but I'm not sure what yet. But boy, am I gonna find out. Come on, let's keep moving. Lava curtain. That's awesome. I dreamt it. Entering Eligard's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Let's just try to save the world first. Time to pace back and forth and check the systems. Inventory request. Operational. Delivery latency? Speedy. Still talking to myself? Yep. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's rock this block with another test. Whoa! Hi! Hey! Didn't see you sneaking up on me. <laughs> yes, that's the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? New assistants with a stupidly <laughs> adorable pig, that is. <laughs> Jessie, she thinks we're her new assistants. This is so exciting. Eligard. No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you. Goggle girl. Switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy? Grab me a blaze rod and an iron block. She wants me to do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel lightheaded. Wow, now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? OK. 
Okay, delivery circuit is on. Blaze rod, iron block. Blaze rod, it's all tingly. Just what the engineer ordered. Uh, Eligard, I got those things you asked for? Ah, excellent, fantastic, love it. Always happy to have a capable set of hands around. Carrying materials, disposing of fainted assistants, <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. Another bust. Now, about you three. Excuse me? Excuse me. Could you please not lie on my floor anymore? Someone's gonna trip over you while carrying lava, and it's gonna be such a mess. Lava everywhere. And boy, nothing gets lava out. Nothing. Except more lava. I don't think that I've ever fainted before. I was just so excited to meet you, and... And with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts. I could have tripped over you and conked my brain. Brilliant thoughts, gone. <laughs> I could see that. Is this a silent agreement sort of thing? We actually aren't here to be your assistants. Oh? We're actually here to get your help. There's a giant wither storm and it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who, who sent you? Was it Calvin? Gabriel sent me. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting, but I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date. A powerful block capable of altering reality itself. I'm so close, I can practically taste it. You're trying to make a command block. Let me help you. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, how do you know what a command block is? Not to seem belittling, but we are talking about some mega, ultra-genius level stuff here. This is what I've been trying to tell you. The world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. You're the ones who brought this. It came up, no note or anything, and I was terribly curious about where it had come from. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Yes, the amulet. Gabriel gave it to me. That's how we found you. He did? So, could we have that back? Sure, whatever. I don't even like amulets. Yes, this is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this Witherstorm monster thing, or whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. That sounds perfect. Your wither storm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. And maybe... Will you help me make one? It's going to work this time. I can feel it. Right here, in my brain. You're the genius, Eligard. Let's get started. Fantastic.
far before? No! Never! Is it destabilizing? Okay, just a little farther. Well, that's certainly impressive. Wow. Yeah. Oh! Who goes there? Oh, Jesse? Is that you? Lucas, did you build all of this? Well, yeah. I figured I would try and fortify the place, you know? Nice! I'm so glad you're back! And we brought Eligard! Fantastic! Quick, come on! You guys are never gonna believe who showed up while you were gone. Gabriel! Hello, everyone. It is good to see you. He showed up not too long before you guys. Eligard! My old friend! You a sight for sore eyes. Maybe with you here, we actually stand a chance against this thing. Oh, how I've missed your optimistic spirit. Oh, and it's especially good to see you, Jesse. I fear that you might be the last face I ever saw. Getting here was hard. I don't understand. How did you escape? If you hadn't pulled me out of the Witherstorm's clutches, well, let's just not think about it. I came here to the temple, hoping against hope to find other survivors. It makes me glad that, even in these terrible times, this temple can stand as a stronghold, a symbol. Wow, did Petra get away too? Did you see? All that creature left in its wake was bedrock. All those people, your friend Petra. No one could get away. It destroyed my home too. I barely got away. It needs to be stopped. We are alive. That means there's still hope. Come along. Everyone else is still inside. Boy, can't remember the last time I saw this place. Would someone care to explain what he is doing here? Well, this isn't going to go well. Right. I forgot to mention. Axel went on a little... A... 
adventure of his own while you were gone. An adventure to get him? Did you know about this? Why didn't you tell me? You did this on purpose. Hey, Axel's my friend, okay? I didn't know he was going to get Magnus. You gotta believe me. Well, I hope you're not expecting me to work with that cretin. Look, just wait here a second while I figure out what's going on. Much appreciated. So, who are you then? And why'd you bring the Queen of the Nerds with you? That's Jesse, my best friend. Trust me, Jesse's totally cool. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll be the judge of that, huh? We're reuniting the Order of the Stone. I got tired of waiting around, so I decided to go recruit Magnus myself. It was kind of a crazy adventure, but it all worked out in the end. And now, I'm the King of Boomtown. Ah! We've been bonding and stuff. I've had, like, the best day. Way to go, Axel. Well, it wasn't easy. I had to beat him in a crazy tournament and... Long story, you had to be there. Short version, epic battle of explosions and mayhem, death-defying action, shenanigans, and pyrotechnics. Bada-bing, bada-boom! Your friend here is kind of supreme ruler of my kingdom now, you know what I mean? Well, this is unexpected. I'm not entirely sure what you mean. But I'm definitely sure that I don't like it. Yeah, show him some respect. Oh, you're sticking up for Magnus. That's very... sweet. Yeah, he's sticking up for me. It's because I'm really awesome and super cool. I'll never understand your fans. Eligard, come on. I know this isn't how the plan was supposed to go, but it's going to be fine. Ha! Fine. Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. It was terrifying. It came out of nowhere and just destroyed everything. Little too scary for you, Ellie? Couldn't just think it away? You weren't there, Magnus. I'm telling you, this thing was like nothing I've ever seen. Why? Because it's never come inside one of your little workshops? This arguing isn't helping anything. We want to stop that thing? We're going to need some serious firepower. Jesse speaks the truth. We must find a way to defeat that monstrosity. Well, I don't know if you've had the chance to poke around this old dump yet, but it's pretty much stripped bare. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. Can we start crafting some, then? I don't think we got that kind of time. But against such an unthinkable enemy, even all the TNT in the world might not be enough. If only Soren were here, he might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie, not this again. Wait, Magnus. She may have a point. Soren did have certain objects, inventions. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I've got a legitimate idea here. What are you talking about? What did Soren have? Soren had a kind of super TNT. Stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. The Formida Bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F-Bomb before. F-Bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F-Bomb could destroy anything. Well, the Formida Bomb sounds perfect. We should go get it now. Well, there's a little problem there. We don't know where Soren is, but you found Magnus and Eligard. Do you know where he is? Our map could locate him, unless he's in the nether or the end. But it's worth a shot. He wasn't on the map. Hey, Magnus. Hey, Small Fry. No shame in admitting you can't turn that thing on. It's very, very sophisticated. I'm going, I'm going. I know what I'm doing. Hey, Gabriel. Well, go on, Jesse. Show them what you can do. 
Hello, Eligard. You said you know how to activate the map? I'm very curious to see it. I've never actually seen it work before. Hey, Axel, how are you doing? I'm hanging out with Magnus. I'm doing awesome. Glad to hear it, buddy. How are you holding up, Lucas? I'm all right. This has all been pretty intense. I feel like if I think too much about what's been going on, well, I'll just think I'm completely nuts. Thank you so much for all the help. I, I know we haven't always gotten along the best in the past, but you've been so great. Wow. That means a lot, Jesse. Thank you. Hey, Olivia, you okay? I'm all right. I can't shake the feeling that I embarrassed myself back in Redstonia, in front of Eligard. I think she kind of judges me a little bit. It'll be okay. I hope you're right. My light. That's new. There he is. Soren had his fortress deep inside the mountains. After the order broke up, that's where he went to keep doing his experiments. Look, he invited me there a couple times, but it always seemed a little weird, right? It always seemed a little weird. Glad we can agree on that at any rate. I mean, I never actually went there with him. That's probably the only time you made the right call. Then let's stop hanging around here and go get us some super tea and... Whoa. It didn't do that before. Are you sure it's working? Who is that? Oh, no. That's Ivor! Ivor is going to Soren's. We need to move! Not too far, we could probably make it on foot. Righteous. We'll get some rest and head out first thing in the morning, avoiding all the nighttime and monsters and everything. If you had seen that monster, you wouldn't be saying that. We need to leave now. I think it's following us, Magnus, and I don't want to risk it catching up with us. We have to go now. It's so bad that you're going to just go waltzing out in the woods at night. It's not night yet. We'll just go as fast as we can. I think Magnus might be right. And he's not usually a big fan of safety. Of course you'd pick his side. I don't want to risk being outside when it gets dark. We should wait till morning so we can have a full day of sunlight. Jesse here is talking a lot of sense. Let's just go with that plan. You're just saying that because it's your plan, but... Fine. Okay, everyone, rest up. We'll head out at first light, all right? Yo, we haven't really gotten the chance to chat yet. Oh, hello. So, you're Ellie's protege? <laughs> She's a piece of work, isn't she? Always thinking about all her redstone stuff. Always trying to show off how smart she is. Well, I think she's amazing. She's totally gonna help save the world. Oh, so you're one of those. Anyway, thanks for having my back before. I do appreciate it. How you liking being the leader of this little pack? I know I haven't been around here long, but even I can tell there's some unrest in the ranks. Ha! Huh. Especially between Axel and, uh, what's her name? Uh, Olivia. 
It's been really hard when people get fighting, when tough decisions have to be made. Ha! Exactly why I never wanted to be a leader. Always preferred the whole rogue thing. Anyway, small fry, let's get some sleep. We've got a long walk ahead of us in the morning. I'm not sure how the rest of you are feeling, but I feel fantastic. I think that a little sleep is just what I needed. Well, I'm glad you're in such high spirits, friend. I'm still feeling a touch under the weather myself. Uh, guys? This is exactly what I was afraid of. It caught up with us. Holy snack burglars! You weren't kidding. No. How could it find me again? We can hash all that out later. We got some monsters to fight here, people. isn't it? <coughs> yeah, and I'm really not feeling those columns. Ah, oh, come on! It's fine! Look! Woo! Don't fall, okay? Oh, that is deep. That is very, very deep. Sure. But I'm glad we're not a part of it. Come on. We should get out of here. Olivia and the others already went ahead. Wow. This architecture, it's incredible. Looks like the others already swam across. Guess we better catch up. Be quiet! 
It's just a pointless building. That's all I'm saying. I mean, look at... Madness, if an artist painted the inside of your... That's it. I'm going. Once again, it falls to me to take care of everything. I'll find this super TNT myself. Oh, no, no, no. You do not get to be the one who walks away. That's it. I'm going. See? I'm walking away too now. Super TNT, here I come! It's hard to pick glass half full when they keep kicking the glass over. And I thought they were doing so well. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Bickering is kind of their deal. But hopefully they'll work things out and get on with the important stuff. What are we gonna do now? Where should we go? Let's figure it out. Gabriel, are you okay? I know it's not the best time, and I, I don't want to worry you. But if there's something I'd like to discuss with you in private, Jesse. But let's split up. I'm aware that letting them head off alone is risky, but I need to talk to you about a private matter. It's not the easiest thing to bring up. I don't want to worry the others. Hey, whatever it is, I trust you. You can tell me. Thank you for being so understanding. I'm so glad to see my old friends together again. I don't want to ruin it with this. What? You may have succeeded in getting me away from the Witherstorm, but I fear it was already too late. I noticed it not long after you saved me. What happened? The Wither made you sick? Tell me. Do you know what Wither is? The Wither? Of course. We've been... No. Just Wither. Or wither sickness, to be more descriptive. It is something I've contracted before in my travels, but it always wears off. It seems that Ivar's monster exudes a wither sickness that is decidedly more... fatal. Well, we're gonna go back and tell the others we can get help. No, Jesse. You can't tell anyone about this. Huh? Creeper! Look out! Take my hand! I'll pull you up! My strength is compromised! I couldn't maintain my hold! I'm so sorry! Jesse, are you alright? Go and find the others. Hopefully you can find a way to get down to me or something. Time to be a hero again. Stay safe! I'll find a way down to you!
must have something useful in here. He has to. Why would he have so many books? Is he just collecting them? He can't have read all of these. Uh, hello there? <gasps> you. Trying to interfere with my plans again, I see. Your tenacity is commendable, yet misguided. You found your way in here? So now you may find it back out again. What are you doing down here? Being rudely interrupted by you, clearly. I'm here with the order to find Soren's Super TNT. We're gonna take down your Witherstorm. The order? <laughs> Believe me, that plan will blow up in their faces in more ways than one. They cannot help you. But me? I choose not to. Out of my way. Move! Fine. Stop right there, I will. Gabriel! You're alive! Against all your best efforts, I will. Look at what you've done. I never dreamt that even you could be this twisted. Save your posturing, Gabriel. We both know that words have always been hollow. Just like the Order. They're yeah. not going anywhere, I will. At least not in one piece. The threats pass harmlessly through me, but this sword will pass through you. Don't you let the order decide. Uh, They'll know what to do. I'm uh, the order a lot longer than you, Jesse. And I believe you would be aligned with me. Not you, not the order! Don't make yourselves the villains in my story. Stay and fight, you coward! Ah! This could have all been avoided. If you want to stop me, you'll have to catch me first! Look out, Jesse! He's using a potion of swiftness! We mustn't let him escape! <laughs> uh, I'm like the wind! Jesse, you could have just let me go. <laughs> now you see me. Now you. <laughs> he could be anywhere. Stay on your guard. Invisible or not, he isn't going to get by me. No! Stings, doesn't it? Please, I. Just stand down. This one's on you, you puffed up fool. Gabriel! <clears throat> There's no time for this. Jesse! Gabriel! Even more of you? Will this parade of useless babblers never cease? What's going on? We found Ivor. We stopped him. Hm. False. You have stopped nothing. Query, have you ever seen the effects of a splash potion of slowness? Think they can 
stop me? That they can destroy the Wither Storm? But they are mistaken. And it will cost them their lives. Next time on Minecraft Story Mode. In pursuit of answers, all our heroes found in Sauron's armory was deceit and treachery. Locked in a dark chamber deep in Sauron's mountain, as the Order of the Stone rides off towards near certain doom, our heroes must ask themselves, would they find a way out of this dark tomb? Is there any way to cure Gabriel's wither sickness? Would they find a way to defeat the Wither Storm? Or will they remain trapped as it continues its ravenous rampage across the entire world? Only time will tell. <laughs>